Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I would like to do a paint meter presentation on multiple vehicles within our showroom here. I'm gonna select the vehicles that are in here. I'm gonna paint meter uh, every vehicle to show you how a paint meter works. Uh, this is really for the people that are questioning whether the paint on this car is original or not. I know most people uh, that have seen this vehicle uh, know that it is an authentic car, but there's a few people uh, that are questioning uh, the paint. So I wanted to do a paint meter presentation. I've already done a full paint meter walk around video that you can definitely see within our listing. This is gonna be a different type of video. Um, so the paint meter is designed to read the depth of the paint to the sheet metal and anything in between. Obviously cars that have been repainted, cars that have been restored, are gonna read higher levels. These are extremely accurate, and I'm gonna let the paint meter do the talking. So to start with the Datsun, we're, we're gonna end with the Datsun. Uh, the reading on this car, once again, this is a 3.0. That's a great, great number to see. Um, I'll do it one more time, just again, show you. This is a 4.5 in this particular area. They're always gonna be within a couple of points of each other. Starting with this absolutely stunning Mercedes-Benz that we currently have on Bring a Trailer, uh, this should read high. It reads a 13.0. This is actually the front fender. It reads a 26.0. Once again, it doesn't mean anything bad. It just means that this car has had, obviously, uh, body work and it's had paint work. Uh, underneath the paint is the body work. Um, moving over to this Corvette, this is actually a fiberglass hood, so my paint meter should read nothing. And as you can see, it's still reading the last reading from the Mercedes. So it's working perfectly. When I move over to this 1973 Camaro, I'll show you here on this front fender, it reads a 19.5. Again, this is very common for vehicles that have been painted. This is actually a 7.5, and I'll just happen to hit this rear quarter over here an 8.0. So you can see the inconsistencies uh, with a car that's had paintwork. Making our way over to this 1967 El Camino. This car is laser straight. So is the Camaro. Beautiful, beautiful paint. Uh, starting with this, it's a 25.0. I can do this hood here. The hood actually doesn't even read. Um, it's so thick. It only goes so high on the paint meter. I'll even come over to this door. It shows a 24.5. Walking over to this 1969 Chevelle, beautiful, beautiful car, super straight potty, beautiful, beautiful paint. I'll hit the front fender here. You can see it's a 15.5. You can also see right here, this is a 9.5. We'll walk over to this gorgeous 1975 AMC Pacer uh, that we have currently listed. I'll hit it one time, showing a 25.0. I'll actually come down here and show you it's a 6.0. So you can see the difference uh, with that vehicle. Now making our way to this Jaguar. This is one of the best XK120 flathead coupes known to exist. Uh, this car obviously has been painted like all the other cars. I'm gonna do the front fender here. This is an 17.0. I'll do one more reading on the hood. 14.0. Now, just to go to a vehicle uh, over here that's newer, this car has had no paint work. This is a 2013 Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Um, this is factory paint. You can see it's a 5.0. I'll do the door. You can see it's a 4.5. You can see it's a 4.5. Quarters, which are typically higher. Quarters are higher and that reads a 5.5, like it should. I guarantee if I go over to the other quarter, it's probably gonna read somewhere in the fives, 5.0. Very consistent, like the Datsun. So let's end this video with me coming back to the Datsun. I'll actually touch it on the hood. Here so you can see it. 2.5. I'll also hit it here on the fender, this will be the last time, 3.0. Once again, the paint meter is extremely accurate. Just did a full presentation in the showroom. If there's any question if this paint is original, I think it ends that question. Thank you.